often considered one of the best animated kids shows to ever hit the world, Avatar The Last Airbender spanned an entire three season run. And I have finally decided, I finally sat down and watched every single episode. And I love the series now. And I wanted to give you my top 10 episodes from the show. Uh, this is my opinion. These are probably not your top 10, but these are the best episodes in my opinion. Let's hop into it. At number 10, I have The Boiling Rock. This is one of those two part, like extended episodes that gives a lot more uh, room for the episodes, shit to breathe. Uh, basically, in this episode, Sokka goes to The Boiling Rock, which is a a firebending prison where they take prisoners of war because he thinks his dad's going to be there and he ends up there with Zuko and they do this whole infiltration plan to get everybody out and it just shows how Sokka is very smart in his own way and really is a vital member of the team and plus Suki is there and we get that reuni reunion of Suki and Sokka and they're just the best couple in the whole show and yeah it's a very fun action pack episode Azul is there at the end for some stupid fighting it's very fun I like a lot more episodes more, so that's why it's at number 10, but I did really, really enjoy The Boiling Rock when I watched it, so it's on the list. At number 9, I have Appa's Lost Days. This episode is on this list mostly because it made me feel extremely upset and sad. I got a gut-wrenching reaction to seeing how horrible Appa was without Aang and where he was lost and everything, and this is the time of the show where Aang and the, the gang is still searching for Appa, and it's just... Yeah, I really like how much anger Aang had whenever Appa was taken and how he had to learn to control that and everything like Appa means so much to Aang and Appa means so much to me and I just think he's such a he's just that guy I love Appa so much so yeah watching this episode hurt tremendously but it's on here because of that reason at number eight I have Tales from Ba Sing Se this is a an interesting episode of Avatar because there's not an overarching plot thread really, it's mostly just uh, separate vignettes of different characters doing things in Ba Sing Se. You get almost every character in the show gets their own little segment, but it's mostly on here because of the ending when uh, Uncle Iroh goes to the top of the hill and you know, he it's, it's revealed it's the anniversary of his son's death and it's a very emotional gut-wrenching moment and this episode was also dedicated to his voice actor who had just passed away. It's, yeah, it's an emotional roller coaster, but it just, it works very well for getting us to like these characters a lot more and let them breathe a little bit and just show their day to day. And it's just, it's a very powerfully good episode for shockingly good reasons too. I was not expecting to like this one that much. At number seven, I have the Ember Island Players. This is the episode that came out right before the finale of the entire show. Basically, it's, this, <laughs> this comedy group of, they're putting out a play production of like the entire Avatar show. It's mostly the writers just making fun of their own show. It's so fucking funny. Uh, I think it might be the funniest episode in the entire show. And it just gives this nice little recap. And it's like kind of a breath of fresh air right before all the serious shit happens in the finale. Uh, I really like it. It gets to show how each character is portrayed from the audience's viewpoint like us. Like how it's basically showing all the criticism that the show gets but like they're making fun of themselves it's very meta it's very funny and i just love the reactions of all the characters in watching the play because they, they think it's ridiculous and it is because people who comment on shit are usually stupid so yeah love this episode at number six i have zuko alone this is an episode that is entirely focused on zuko you know shocking uh this was where he goes on his own little journey and he tries to help some earthbending people, but then they find out he's a firebender and everyone turns on him. Yada, yada, yada. It's, it's the episode where I started liking Zuko a lot more because like I, I saw the journey was going on from the start, but this episode really just changed him from like this teenager to like actually being like a person and having some damn growth and shit. I don't know. I really like this episode. I think it was important for his character development and it's very, very good. Entering the top five, I have the Avatar and the Fire Lord. This episode provides Aang and Zuko with the backstory of the Avatar and, you know, the Fire Lord and how those two histories came to be and how Zuko is low-key related to both uh, the Firebenders and the Avatar, shit like that. It's, very, it's why he struggles so much with his quest to get the Avatar 
but he also doesn't want to Loki. It's so good for character development. I think most of the episodes that feature both Aang and Zuko as the centrist piece are some of the best. And I love getting the history of these characters from the world. So I really enjoy this episode. I really do. At number four, I have the Siege of the North. This is, I think, the season one finale. Uh, basically, the, the Fire Nation's coming to attack the Northern Water Tribe and try to, you know, get the Avatar. Uh, they end up killing the Moon Spirit, and th th that's not good because that's Sokka's, <laughs> Sokka's girlfriend, Yue, was, was, had something tied to the Moon Spirit, so she has to sacrifice herself, and it's really, really a sad moment for our boy Sokka. I think I might have said Zuko earlier. Sokka, his girlfriend, it's very sad. It's an emotional thing. You get to watch Aang go absolutely batshit insane going into the, the fucking Avatar states, and he has to learn how to control that in the future. It's a very good ending to the water chapter. I like it. At number three, we have the Firebending Masters. I love this episode. Watching Aang and Zuko have to go find the original Firebenders, dragons, who are thought to be extinct because the Fire Lord... Uh, ordered them all to be killed so no one can really master firebending i really 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 enjoyed this episode it's watching ang and zuko have to work together and then learning from these dragons was so cool you get some more backstory on uncle iroh it's such a fun cool episode and i'm so glad they included it it's so good at number two we have the crossroads of destiny this is the season two finale i'm pretty sure a bunch of shit happens in here zuko is tested on whether he wants to follow the destiny he thinks he's supposed to versus the destiny he really wants to Loki and he ultimately fails by picking Azula's side again which at this point in the show I was this is the part where I thought Zuko was going to join Avatar's or Aang's uh, fucking gang but he, he didn't I thought this would have been the perfect turning point but apparently I'm just wrong um but yeah this episode has a lot going on Aang goes into the Avatar Avatar state and almost dies from Azula I think he actually does die and Katara has to save him with some shit. And, like, it was a powerful. It was dark. Like, this was a bad turning point for our crew. And it really ends into the darker season of season three. Yeah. But, yeah, my number one is the finale. Sozin's Comet. I, you could pick any part. They're all... There's so much happens in the, these episodes. And it's almost unfair because it is, like, four damn parts. So, whatever. It might be a cop-out. But Sozin's Comet is incredible you get so many fun moments you get to watch all these people come together to take out the fire nation uh you get to watch ang really rip and kick fucking fire lord ozai's ass love watching him finally go into the avatar state and spin around that fucking ball with all the elements around him very 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 cool uh the zuko fight with azula who is completely unhinged at this point and katara has to help him and it's just it's so there's so many good moments that it's almost impossible not to pick Sozin's Comet. Especially because, like, Aang just fucking busts out, what was it, uh, element bending or some shit. Bro is just him. Like, uh, I love Sozin's Comet so much. Great finale to the show. Really, 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 really like that episode. That's why it's number one. Well, guys, those were my top ten Avatar The Last Airbender episodes. Again, this is just my opinion. You might have a different top ten. I would love to hear what they are. You can leave it in the comments down below. I will be back next week with uh, a ranking of all the Mad Max movies since Furiosa comes out next week. I will be here for that. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.